they have a lot of, you know, they're very into being specific. Um, they choose activities, meaning you learn how to actually do acting is doing is another yeah. one of their things. That when you're when you're acting, you're not acting, you're doing something. Right. And it's a lot of specific techniques like that that you have to fall back on when you're about to have a nervous That's breakdown. Right. It's, uh, acting uh, 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 truthfully under imaginary circumstances, mm -hmm. which I think the distinction between um, where he and Strasberg sort of uh, split was um, Strasberg was more interested in, in going out and uh, working up stuff from your own life and maybe some bad experiences, maybe good experiences mm -hmm. to bring onto the stage, but I think Meisner felt that, that maybe that wasn't the most healthy thing um, to do uh, for stage. You should use your imagination and they, they talk a lot about this phrase, um, the emotional as if. It is as if. It is as if the, it was like the day that you, something that's very personal for you that you mm -hmm. can um, put into to that. Uh, needless to say though, when I'm out in the hallway and William Esper's in the room and he says, go out and don't come in until you get tears, I was punching myself in the face, <laughs> reminding myself of the time it's my parents beat me. You know, punching myself yeah. in the face. So uh, it, it uh -huh. was desperate, it required right. desperate stuff, but really, yes. I don't dig up a lot of personal stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. But I do remember at times not, you know, it was, it's an interesting process and it's interesting to do work while you're learning Meisner technique because you can, as you're doing plays, there were different stages. You can always tell an actor sometimes where they're at with Meisner technique because they can they kind of only focus on one thing. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Like there was this, we had this movement class for actors, and uh, for some reason everyone's arms became loose that year at college. So <laughs> whenever you went to this, like we go to a studio production of you know Bents, and everybody whenever they turn would always go. Like this, like that. And they I always thought, oh, their, they're in their second their, their year. Arm their arm work. They, they were doing arm work. That week, you know? So it was. It was it's college is very funny that way to watch everybody figure it out. You know. Yeah. Where we really get off is when it's not, when it, we're just, when everybody in the room, as Brian said, is everyone in the room is concentrating on one thing, telling the story, and we all actually become sort of selfless when it's not every man for himself in a, in a process, but that's when it's uh, the most beautiful, and it even gets more beautiful when you layer in the crew, mm -hmm. as, because the crew is in it, yeah, they're everyone. into it, man, mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. And they, that's, the, the bigger it gets behind stage and the orchestra and everybody involved in the dressers, the more it feels like it's a, a beautiful, beautiful thing, right? The, the process of theater is the experience. Whatever your process has been, you, you carry that in, that becomes the experience. The process of that night's show is the experience that everyone has. And like when you're doing films, your, your process doesn't matter at all. You can have the worst time you've ever had in your life, and all that matters is the result. And in, in theater, the experience is the result. So it's, it's so fantastic that way that every night is a different experience, and every night is a, this, this slightly different result. But it, everyone's a part of that, the audience, the people backstage, everyone. And that's just, just much more fulfilling. That being said, what you put into it is much more. What, what you give time-wise, what you give of your life, years of your life sometimes to shows, um, you give more.